After 14 years, the United Kingdom has woken up to a new government, a concession of defeat and an acceptance speech, all tied up before breakfast time. We did it! Yeah! You campaigned for it, you fought for it, you voted for it, and now it has arrived. Change begins now. Here we go. Britain sees red. It was a landslide victory for the Labour Party, trouncing the outgoing Conservatives with one of the biggest majorities in history. The tabloids didn't hold back. And as Big Ben strikes 10, the exit poll is predicting a Labour landslide. Sir Keir Starmer will become Prime Minister. With... As the initial exit poll came in, many celebrated the early indication of a win for the Labour Party. <laughs> With counting underway in his home constituency in North Yorkshire, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak conceded defeat as dawn broke. He'll stay on as an MP, but has indicated he'll no longer lead the party. That's a fight for another day. The Labour Party has won this general election, and I have called Sir Keir Starmer to congratulate him on his victory. Other well-known Conservatives weren't so lucky. Short-lived Prime Minister Liz Truss lost her seat in south-west Norfolk Leader of the Commons, Penny Mordaunt, lost her seat, as did Defence Secretary Grant Shapps and arch-Brexiteer Jacob Rees-Mogg. And success after his eighth attempt, pro-Trump, right-wing populist politician Nigel Farage secured a seat in the House of Commons for his right-wing reform party. 24,000. It was a win for the former Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, now running as an independent candidate in his long-time constituency of Islington North. This result is, to me, a resounding message from the people of Islington North that they want something different, they want something better. 